A Yale fraternity with famous alumni that include five U.S. presidents is now banned from the university. The Delta Kappa Epsilon came under fire last fall after some frat members made sexually explicit comments in front of women on campus. News 8 Sarah Wells has more on the punishment and reaction from students. The prestigious Delta Kappa Epsilon fraternity on the Yale campus now banned after pledges chanted obscenities against women. This is that now infamous video, pledges of Delta Kappa Epsilon walking through the Yale campus chanting sexist remarks. An outrage to many on campus, including members of the Yale Women's Center, who accused the frat of advocating rape and violence against women. The incidents, you know, didn't affect me personally, but really shocked me. Students reacting to Yale's decision to ban Deke recruiting and activities on campus for five years. The school found the fraternity had threatened and intimidated others, stemming from this video taken last October of Deke pledges marching blindfolded in single file, shouting vulgar comments in an area of campus where many freshman women live. The statement from the Yale College Dean says the school also issued penalties to individual fraternity members, but those punishments are confidential. Students on campus received an email explaining the school's decision. I think that the five-year ban, which is what they put in place, is, is a good step um, in that it shows the school is taking complaints seriously. I think that it's like best for Yale as an image to just like disband the fraternity for now. Chapter leaders have apologized. One student we talked to felt the school's sanctions are an overreaction, that the punishment doesn't fit the crime. That's not to say that the crime shouldn't be punished, which it absolutely should be, but I, I think it's just a little bit too much. I still think that there's a lot to be done at the school to make sure this is a safe landing environment for, for everyone, um, women included. Yale says the discipline was necessary to ensure an educational environment free from harassment and intimidation. On the scene in New Haven, Sarah Welch, News 8.